What a what a cunt. Sorry. But still, that that's that's shit, man. Like really. I thought my honesty would pay off there. It did not, in the slightest. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Atla River. We cross a bridge, the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Ah, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. You can't stop me from going north. <laughs> I wouldn't try, but I'm not going with you either. And without me. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Fucking hell, this is like last episode, I don't remember this. Sylvie! This was like six don't months ago. Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and- well, well, things got out of hand. I'm gonna try honesty again. Out of again. hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed. Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Whoa. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you co Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. Well, that sucks. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting more than onions to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Alright, see ya. Oh, wait, what? Okay, that was weird. Ending of the conversation. Uh, right, so I guess I'll talk to her. Let's talk to him again. See if anything happens here. But Garrett. I already have to talk to her. Uh, you don't look like her. Why'd you lie? Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister. I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. How's your arm? How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, Why the you fuck mean this I one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. 
dann, dann hast du wieder dick gefahren, ne? You and your sister, you uh you don't look much alike. The white hair and I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of him. Uh, why were people afraid of him? Why were they afraid Her, of your sister? Even. Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are assholes. You got that right. Uh, what happened at your village? What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. She wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> But she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't gonna make it. Where's your mother now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrid Amini. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. <laughs> It just turns around. Well, fuck you then. All right, I guess we'll go find her. Maybe some interactive stuff on the way. I can barely see my mouse here. Oh, here, there's uh, our other friend Finn. Let's have a look at Sylvie's hut. Just going straight in. Okay, sure. Can't see how to reflect that way. What's that? Some weapons. Family token. A bear. With one paw that looks like it's gave that. cut off. Uh, oh, sketches. Another bear. Little moon. Oh, and some spears. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what the point of that was. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Okay. Uh, I think I'll leave that. She'd probably get pissed off if I drink from that. Or I... I don't know what it is. I don't really want to drink that. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Oh, well, got that covered at least, I guess. So where is, uh... Sylvia. Oh, a bunny. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Just want to have a chat? God. How old are you? <laughs> Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. How to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I may do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. Oh, Jesus. Get erect. That's better than making do. You're not a bad shot. 
Yeah, except I completely pierced our food. Nicely, little one. Would that be enough? <laughs> you ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. Didn't we use a crossbow though when we were in Castle Black? Castle Black? Oh, that's a long ways away. Yes. Nice one, mate. I'd say we did all right. Cooked up with some of those onions you've got. We might even enjoy it. The music's like making me think something's about to happen here. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone like you around. You ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Me da. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. I don't even remember why we're going for it, A but... A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Because they're all happy there. That's why. Oh, what the... Okay. Uh... Maybe they stayed, yeah. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were... Garrett! That's uh, interesting. This looks like the place. Back in Marine. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some kind of speech, aren't I? that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. You speak their language. We didn't part on the best of terms. Oh, this is going to be tough. I feel like I'm going to fuck this up. Oh, shit. Look at this beautiful statue. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. Blood. <laughs> That's think like, why, why, why are they even bother putting that in the game? It's so pointless. Wait, what is that in my inventory? Is that like that dragon what? tooth? Oh. What the fuck, son? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. I love his accent, so what the fuck? Alright. How are you doing, sir? Oh, I can't even talk to him. Anything else? Some lovely heads right there. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. All right, well, let's climb there, okay? Oh, uh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. 
Or fear. You're really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. I can handle this. Huh? After you then. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back the way you came. Before I decide to eat you, just stab him I'll right start away. With your eyeballs, fucking juicy when they pop. You sure you have room for me? You seem pretty well fed already. He's gonna laugh at me. My master only ever fed me when I won. I won a lot. I thought we were just having a laugh, now, mate. I need to get serious. You got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. <laughs> I like this one. Hey, Abaya. Company. Nice. I was thinking about going for the uh, the one where I ask or tell him that I need people like him, but I think I I thought I needed to impress him first.